getting back to the core of yourself. Whereas Canyon Ranch, they have you know quitting smoking programs, weight loss programs. So it's it's a little bit different. And um, and I I worked at Mirabelle for five years um, while I was in school, and then um, when I finished school, they hired me as a massage therapist. So I got quite a <laughs> and, bit of pain there. Yeah. And who everybody knows, we're both in Tucson. Wayne, who was just on, is in Colorado experiencing a blizzard right now. It's uh, 75 degrees here, perfectly sunny. We saw the moon like you couldn't believe the last couple of nights. Yeah. Uh, and Canyon Ranch and Miraval are world-renowned resorts, uh, health spas. And I, I've seen that they're both in the top five in the country, at least. But in, that's been a while, so I don't know if they still rank that high, but um, people come to Tucson specifically to go to these places, and Denise's background at Miraval is certainly something that adds a lot of credibility to what she's going to talk to us about tonight. So with that, I think we can get into our topic a little bit, huh? Yep. Okay. Um, so your, uh, your website, just for everybody who knows, and there's more information you can get about Denise, it's called a passion for health.net, and you can see the website right there. Okay, so we've got an event that's coming up um, next week, a uh, week from today, in fact, which is Thanksgiving, so I'm wishing a happy Thanksgiving to everybody out there. And we're going to try and weave into our conversation today what to buy, what not to buy, what to, uh, how to prepare things as well. And we're going to try and weave in the, the traditional Thanksgiving uh, ingredients and how, how to make Thanksgiving as helpfully as helpful as you can make it. So I'm just challenging Denise, and I'll continue to throw little things at her as we go. So what we wanted to start with, and I'm going to let Denise really get into this, is just give you some guidelines, some simple rules that you can follow as you go through the process of deciding to go to the store, not just for Thanksgiving, but for any day, of day uh, to feed your family and to make sure that you're not buying the wrong things, you're buying the right things. And I'll just say from my own personal experience, I walk into the grocery store, not all grocery stores are created equal, we're going to talk about that, but the traditional chain grocery store, and I'm going to guess that outside of a couple of different areas in the store, the rest of it's to be avoided. So we're going to talk about that more specifically. So Denise, let's talk, give people kind of the, the road map for what they should do to get ready to go to the store. Well, I think when I work with clients, um, they either hate going to the grocery store or they're totally confused about going to the grocery store and what to buy and and it can be overwhelming like you said you know you walk in and you're just bombarded with all sorts of stuff so my first suggestion would be to make a meal plan for the week figure out what you want to have for your meals for dinner what you're going to do for lunch if you bring your lunch with you to work that way, when you go in, you have a game plan. You look at your meal plan, you figure out what items you need to buy, and you can kind of stay on course as opposed to just going in and standing in the store 